Hey, this is Matt again for tutorial number two of the basic programming series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a wall for your player to be blocked by and an enemy for your player to be killed by. So, we have a new sprite now. We have a wall sprite, which is basically just a black square. And if you want to know more about creating sprites, check out Dan's series of tutorials. That will tell you everything you need to know. But for this, I'm going to be going over objects and programming. So, let's create a new object. The name will be wall. Set the sprite to wall. Now the only thing we need to set for wall, we don't need to do any cause and effect, we just need to check this little box called solid. And basically it just makes it so that no, so that no other object can um, overlap with it and it makes it a lot easier for you to program your walls. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the player solid also, so two solids can't collide. And then for the actual programming of stopping the player when he collides with the wall, I'm going to go add event. This is under player, remember. Add event, collision, with wall. So when the player collides with the wall, I want to do this. So I'm going to go under move, move, fi move fixed, sorry. And um, I'm going to just click the little stop button in the middle, speed zero. So when we collide with the wall, we're going to stop. Now the other thing I want to show you is at the top here, if you go under this little, uh, it's kind of like some small boxes on the left and some large boxes on the right, just click on that, settings, and then just click the start and full screen mode, and click OK, because it'll just make it, your game look a lot better and it'll be easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So now we have our player, and I forgot to put the walls in, so go to your rooms. I'm just going to put some player, some walls around the player so we can test to make sure you can't get out of the room except for that one little passage there. And just left click to place walls. So now I'm running the game again. And see the player is blocked by the walls and you can't get out. But you can only get out by this. So that's basically how you program a wall. Pretty simple. Next we're going to be doing an enemy. So for the enemy, I'm going to create another sprite. I'm going to click on the player sprite, not double click, right click, duplicate. I'm going to call this enemy. And then I'm just going to go in here, add the sprite. I'm just going to make it red. Once again, watch dance tutorials for more information. Um, so now I have a red circle for the enemy. Okay, so now I'm going to create another object. Call it enemy. Select the red circle sprite. Now, the next part, we're going to need to create a new type of um, function in Game Maker. It's called a path. It's this little squiggly line up near the top. I'm going to click on that. And you see this large grid with a bunch of its white background and a bunch of lines. I'm going to call this enemy path. Basically, a path is just a pre built. Um, a uh, set of directions for something to move in if you don't want to program it manually, which would take a while. So I'm just going to click on point A here, and then I'm going to click over here a little bit, and I'll just kind of, you know, make a box. You, you can see it automatically closes itself. So now I have this box here, and you can change your connection kind, you can change that to smooth curve, you can see it changes that into an oval. But we're just going to stick with straight lines for now. So I'll click the check mark, and then under the enemy programming, I'll say add event, create. Now create is when that whenever that object shows up in the room. So in this case, it'll be right away since he's going to be in the room with the player. When this object is going, when this object is created, it's going to do this. So what I want it to do when it's created is start moving in that square path we made. So under the first thing here, I'm going to go under paths, drag out the first one, there's the blue line, path, enemy path, speed, since the player moves at 4, we want it to move a little slower, so we'll say 3, and at the end of the path, we're going to continue from here. Now that sounds a little confusing, but basically we'll just keep doing that path over and over again. Click OK. So now the path, that enemy is going to move around and around. So now we'll go into our room. And I'll just position the enemy up here. And um, 
I'm not quite sure how big the path is, but hopefully it won't collide with the walls. So you can see your enemy. It goes down, and it keeps following that path over and over again. It'll just keep going around. So I'm going to move our player out of his little prison. And you can see here that we have this enemy that's moving around and around. And you can have as many of these as you want in your game and change the paths. But, um, but as you can see, the player doesn't die when he collides with the enemy, which is definitely a problem. So it's pretty easy to fix that. I'll hit escape. Um, I'll go into the player and I'll say collide, coll uh, add event, sorry, add event, collision with the enemy. So when it collides with the enemy, we're going to, um, let's see, go under tab main one, and at the bottom here you see all these room commands. Remember, rooms are levels. So I want to go to this one that says restart room. I'm going to drive that over here. And you can say whatever transition you want, but um, I'll just pick a random one. I'll say push from top. And they're just like transitions, kind of like a PowerPoint or whatever. But So when the player collides with the enemy, it's going to restart the room. So it's going to be just like dying. So you can see I'm moving around here. And when the enemy comes over, he's going to contact me. You can see that I restarted the room and it shifted from the top. That was the um, transition I picked. So yeah, that's basically the end of this tutorial on how to create basic enemies and walls. And just subscribe, stay tuned for our next tutorials, and have fun with GameMaker.